Namaste students. So today I have come up with flower and this flower is known as Hibiscus Roja Sinensis in scientific form. And the common name is Hibiscus. So yes, let's start with the uh, dissection. That means cutting the parts into one by one, isn't it? So let's start with the lower part that is sepal. Okay, I am dissecting it. I am using a small uh, a medium sized needle. To dissect it I will make a small cut okay be careful while holding it don't you don't have to put much uh, effort or put much extra pressure over it uh, for doing your this dissection you can use a blade instead okay so here I have uh, Cut the sepal. And surrounding part, I am trying to make a cut. Okay, make a cut so that it comes out without the, uh, without this main stem. Okay, of this flower. So that's how it's coming out. Isn't it? Can you see the uh, sepal? Yes. That's what you have already studied in theory classes. So this is the sepal which protect the flower when it is in the bud state. Okay. So yes, this is the this is the sepal, isn't it? Okay. So yes, I have cut in such a way that it doesn't affect its uh, whole um, that original state. Okay whole blooming state so now the next part is I will I'm going to um, separate the petals okay petals are the this red that is the most uh, attractive part of the flower is the petal okay so let's separate the petal from it you have to be very much patient while doing it don't be in any, any hurry and don't put much pressure with your needle okay you can use your hand in between but be careful if you not if you have don't have to cut the whole petal but uh, make a mark slight mark so that the flower a petal comes out uh, together so i'm trying to cut it very fine let's see how it comes out So this video is going to be longer since I am uh, doing it slowly so that all the parts can be dissected very carefully without um, cutting much of it. Just appropriate cut. Okay. So yeah. So that's my petals. Can you see it? Yes. That's my petals. Five petals. Okay. So now I am getting this whole inside part of the hibiscus hmm. so in hibiscus you know the male reproductive part and the female reproductive part is together okay that is the male reproductive part called the stamen and the female reproductive part called the pistil is together one uh, together now uh, where is the stamen exactly here and the uh, pistil exactly here so i am going to cut it into two part you just see it i will uh, you will come to know everything i have made a cut this way see with a with the needle with a slight pressure i have cut in this straight way and this inner part hmm, this the stick uh, and the inner part is been taken out this way okay that means the, uh, the red part the red part uh, of it is taken away and this white part 
can you see the white part coming out of inside it okay yes this white part okay this is the white part which is coming out of it inside be very much uh, slow with your pull okay whenever you think it is stuck somewhere uh, make a cut again okay so that it find a way to come out easily okay, don't pull it very uh, roughly okay 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 that's very good that's very good see can you see it yes this is the female reproductive part known as pistil and that's the male reproductive part called the stamen okay so students you can see here the ovaries i hope the screen is clear you can see the small granules isn't it this this small small uh, the small small uh, granule size seeds you can see isn't it so these are the ovules inside the whole ovary okay it is very sticky so it is coming after the needle okay so you can say that after germination of uh, of the pollen grain what happened the ovary turn into fruit and this ovule turn into seeds okay in a fruit bearing plants students look at here this is the sepal s e p a l sepal that's the petal petal uh, this is the male reproductive part called the stamen s t a m e n stamen okay this is very sticky so it's coming along with me okay so okay uh, this this is the pistil p i s t i l pistil okay uh, now what are the parts in the stamen stamen have two part that is this is the filament f i l a m e n t filament and the anther anther means this part this upper part which be are the pollen grains okay anther and t t h e r and t a n t h e r and t so and t is what and t they bear they bear the pollen grains pollen grains what are those pollen grains this is the yellow part you can see this yellow part the yellow yellow uh, uh, granule size of um, uh, objects you can see isn't it so these are all pollen grains okay pollen grains so uh, the pollen grains uh, for in during pollination the pollen grains travel to the uh, stigma stigma part of the pistil stig s t i g m a stigma this is the neck part of the pistil is called the style and the lower most part is known as ovary this is the ovary okay ovary so ovary have the ovule inside it i hope you are clear with this whole part